pump the brakes. Giannis, he had so much fun this offseason. Two movies released, showed off some dance moves. Today, though, back doing what he does best. He's on the court, still without Chris Middleton, remember. So, Brian, do you think that there is any value in Giannis and the Bucks maybe adjusting the way that he plays early in the season without Middleton in the lineup? Well, there has been a little bit floated by Mike Budenholzer about how the Bucks may change their style this year. And hmm. it's not going to really be that much about Giannis because Giannis is such a beast, especially in a playoff series. But Malika, as you know, as somebody who used to cover the Bucks, uh, you know, a lot, they like to give up three pointers. They believe that they need to protect the interior. And if you can beat them with the three, they'll take that risk. Well, the Celtics did some damage from three point range in knocking them out of the playoffs last year. So, Bud has hinted that their defensive style might switch up a little bit, and they may show a little bit more attention to the three-point shot. That's a big concession. This team won a championship two years ago playing that style. So um, I do think we could see the Bucks alter their game a little bit, mm. but we're not going to really have a good feel for them until we get, get, a, get, a, get to see them with Chris Middleton back, who is recovering from off-season surgery. Well, they're kind of mid-championship window. Um, mm. And Malik, you did an interview with Giannis a couple weeks ago, which I thought was one of the best interviews I've ever heard him give. Um, and and he, he really seems like a star who's in full bloom. I mean, you mentioned he had a couple movies come out about himself. But he's talking about himself, and he recognizes his importance to the league and who he is as a person. And he's able to discuss it now. Like, he feels like he's, mm. he, you know, it wasn't just a, he's not just a, a, a foreign player that people are still learning about. Um, I liked what he said about not liking the, the name The Greek Freak. Like, that was, have we ever heard that before? Like, he is kind of coming into his own in much the same way that Steph Curry did in the middle of that run that the Warriors had going to five straight finals, where the biggest challenge for Giannis, like it was for Steph in the middle of that run, is just managing all the demands on him yeah. and who he is in the league and how important he is to the league. Steph figured out how to do that. Giannis is still in that spot where he's still learning how to do it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.